My name is Tasha Skillman and I'm an aquarist here at the Tennessee Aquarium. One of the things I do here is train our arapaima. Arapaima are one of the largest freshwater fish in the world. They can get up to about 10 feet long. They are found in South America and right now their populations are in decline so they're considered endangered. My favorite thing about working with the arapaima is you develop a close relationship. It sounds silly to develop a close relationship with a fish but they have personalities and I know how they're, I can anticipate their behavior because I know them really well. About 18 months ago we started training them when we moved them into our river giants exhibit. We needed a way to safely handle the fish and if we needed to look at them closely for medical reasons or any other reason we just needed a way to handle them safely for both them and us. So we started stretcher training them um, and the ultimate goal is to get them to swim into a stretcher. We'd be able to lift the stretcher up, inspect them, weigh them, whatever it is, and then put them back and they would be calm the whole time and happy to um, participate in that. So when we get down here, we uh, the fish know that they're ready to start. They're really used to this routine. So we'll lower our stretcher-like device into the water and then we lift up a gate and they can go ahead and go through if they would like. We have a stick that they follow and target to, so they'll come through the stretcher device, they'll stop at the stick and they'll wait there until we're ready to reward them. Um, and then we'll lift the stick up, toss the food in, and then they swim off. The device that they swim through now is about two and a half feet, and so the next step will just be doubling that. So the next size will be five feet. And then from there we'll move into something that's more like a stretcher, so it'll be fabric-y instead of meshy, and we'll just take it one step at a time until we work our way all the way up to a stretcher. Arapaima in a lot of facilities are station trained, which just means that you, the fish will come up to a certain spot in the tank so you have access so you can feed it. So no one is stretcher training like we are right now, but they train other types of fish like sharks and um, other fish are pretty common, but nothing with arapaima that we know of. The training is really beneficial, especially in the circumstance because the fish are so powerful and large that we need a safe way to handle them, um, and it needs to be safe for both us and the fish. So having them, uh, you know, swim into the stretcher and calmly lay there while we lift them up and do our work, and they're happy to do that for us, and it's a reward for them to be able to do that. Um, it's good for everybody involved. Uh, so no one gets hurt and everybody's happy and healthy.